Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe. Welcome to the 2238th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni. And you can find me always in a live trading room at www.futurestraders.com. Hey kids, how you doing? This video is for trading on Thursday, March 18th. 2021. I hope you're enjoying your St. Patrick's Day. I just had corned beef and cabbage. It was delicious. Thank you, Lisa. And um, thought I'd sit down and do this video for you. Please know that this is a very risky game. Never ever trade without stops. Put your stops in first. Only trade with money that is literally earmarked to be lost in case something like that happens. Please know the risks behind this game, all right? You, believe me, it's not suitable for all traders, options, futures. You can get knocked out if you don't know what you're doing. If you, if you definitely aren't sure about that, don't trade yet. Come to my live trading room at futurestraders.com and see me, and I'll set you straight, okay? For you traders that understand the risks, let's get moving. You are looking at the NASDAQ June daily bar chart. What will happen here? Well, you know, we've got the question mark, right? What's going to happen here? As you can see, a great deal of respect has been paid by the NASDAQ to this average, right? Great hold, great hold, great hold. Then when it gets below, look at how many times it tries to get above, falls apart. And look where we are now. We're back up here. Now, it looks much more promising this time around because we are above the average and we were completely below it last time. When it does get above it, it seems to be a good thing. I've got a green Omni for NASDAQ for trading on Thursday. So we will look to buy the dips in E-mini S&P, NASDAQ, Russell. Now, how do we know if this is going to go higher? Well, we don't know for sure, but the leader lately certainly has been the Dow Jones Industrial Average, right? Well, here's the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Another green omni for trading on Thursday. Look at this abstract channel it's been in. Look at this. It's been just waddling around inside this channel. It looks to me like it wants to go higher based on the omni, based on the chart work I do, and looking at this channel. So I would say, yes, this is either an F flag forming or a strong channel. And if the leader's going to go, why not NASDAQ and S&P with it? So that's what we're looking for. Traders, don't forget, I've got an Omnicamp coming April 29th. Act soon. Come find me if you're serious about coming out. Let's look at another market, kids. Let's go here. Look at Bitcoin. Traders, the latest target produced is 80 1,200, what should happen within a couple of months? Three the most, I would think. When I started calling Bitcoin, it was, excuse me, when I started making Omni calls in Bitcoin, it was trading much lower at around five to 7,000. We made a target of 35,000 for Bitcoin, should happen in 2021. That target was put on my whiteboard four years ago. The first week of 2021, we actually traded 35,000 in Bitcoin, first time ever after leaving a gap just a few days before. Well, then I made another target for 60,000, and I believe we got up to like 59 and change. And my next target, target number three, was for 41,300, and I think we got down to 42,300. Just about made it, right? So we nailed the first target. We just grazed target two. That's good enough. We came down and just about hit target three. That's good enough. Next target, 480,200. Now, I'm not telling you to run out and buy it today, but I'm expecting a much higher Bitcoin. Now, just in case at some point in time we go into a crazy bear market, keep this number in mind. Could actually stretch as low as 33,000 on a downside flip. But that's not what we're calling for at the moment. We're calling for 80,200. Just keep this number in mind in case somehow something goes wrong and Bitcoin you know, blows a gasket and starts to head down. I'd be a buyer down here or I'd expect it to get here 
way before you ever see something like this. So that's what I'm looking for in the E-mini S&P in Bitcoin. I hope you join me in my free trading room at LiveAlaska.com. Remember to keep your emotions out of trading, kids. Stops are in. Emotions are out. I'll see you at my site.